What's going on guys? Rebel RX is back online. Welcome to Pokemon Emerald. So the last playthrough I did was on Fire Red. Did I finish that? And yes, we did finish that rather quickly. Now we are going to move on over to Emerald. If there's any other games that you would like to see me do a run through of, let me know. As far as I'm aware, I can at least run up to uh, Gen 4. Gen 5 I can do, but I need to find and I need to find one where the XP is patched. Yeah, that's what he said. Alright, we are going to go with a new game. I forgot how slow this seems. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is March. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. It's a Lotad! This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates, and sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are. Are you a boy? Or are you a girl? I'm boy. Alright, what's your name? Rebel R X. Rebel R X, yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Your Rebel RX is moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Ah, we're in the back of a truck. Get me out of here! Ah, so we're in the moving truck. I'm not used to the to the main Gen 3 games. Mainly because I've only played through Emerald like twice. But I do already have a team laid out and specific natures I want to get for each mon. So I'm just saying now for each mon I get for the team, I won't be nature hunting on cam as that would take way too much time. Alright, so without further ado, let us go! Purple RX, we're here, honey! It must be tired riding with our things in the moving truck. Oh, there's a little root town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Rebel RX! Let's go inside! I, I don't even know what that voice is. See, Rebel RX, is it nice in here, too? Isn't it nice in here, too? Nor is Pokemon do all the work of, of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Oh, Rx, your room is upstairs. Go check it out here. Dad put your new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Okay. I cannot figure out what Pokemon that is at the moment. Is that Vigoros? I'm not sure. And this one! I don't know what he's up to. Hi, buddy. How you doing? First of all, let's head on over to the PC. We got a potion! Alright, so we have to... adjust our clock. Better set and start the clock. Let's see. It is currently 3.25 p.m. Where I am... Ah! 
How do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Alright, well, I already did that, so... Oh, come quickly! Oh, he's pedal bark Jim, maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Jim. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. It was right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay, and then you just sit at the table the rest of the time. Okie dokie. Hi. Oh, hello, and you are. Oh, you're Rubber Larex, our new next door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Her daughter was excited about making a new friend. Upstairs, I think. Alrighty. Hi. Alright, I'm upstairs. Ooh, what's this? Hi. Oh, who are you? Oh, you're Rebelorex, so your move was today. Um, I'm May. glad to meet you. I, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you from my dad. I was hoping that you'd be nice and we could be friends. We could all get along, have playdates, it'll be so exciting! Oh, this is silly. I just met you. And this is crazy. So give, so give me your number, I'll call you maybe. This may Spooky Ball. Better leave it right where it is. No, no, no. Can I just take that? Just give me a Pokemon right off the rip? Apparently not. <laughs> um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Oh, well, listen, kiddo. I don't have any Pokemon either. Help me! Dee-dee-dee-dee. <laughs> Hello, you over there? Please help in my bag. There's a Pokeball. Oh, where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Uh... Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Warning. Are you sure? Yes. Now, the Wood Gecko Pokemon Trico, the Chick Pokemon Torchic, and the Mudfish Pokemon being Mudkip. Now, first of all, as you saw, I had made a save there. We're going with M Mudkip, who will be our starter for the Hoenn region. <clears throat> Go, Mudkip! Tackle! You want to tackle me too? Tackle! I'm gonna tackle it again! Well, Zigzagoon fainted. Not enough XP for a level up, Sag. Phew, I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Rebel RX. There's nothing a place to chat, so come by my lab later, okay? So, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you put it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, that's thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. So, now we have Mudkip. Oh yeah, I don't want to give a nickname to that Mudkip. No. If you work at, at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. A kid, May, is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Don't I think, think it might be a good idea to go see May? Yeah, why not? Great, May should be happy to get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alright, so let's take a look at our Mudkip. It has an impish nature. Okay. It only knows Tackle and Growl. Its highest stat is its attack at 13. Lowest is 9 special attack. Okay, so this is not the nature that I want for Mudkip. So I will be right back once I get the correct nature. Alrighty guys, we are back and we 
We're here back with a bashful nature. Mudkip. Now, I don't really know the whole difference. I don't really understand much about natures and all of that. But this was the nature that was listed, that I had listed down for, uh, for Mudkip. So, without further ado, since we got that taken out of the way... Let us... Continue! You! No, you don't give me anything. Trainer? No, okay. Wormhole! Jeez. I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Thanks for the potion! Pochiana! Ah, level 6! Mud slap! Woo! I get to slap something! Wingle! Let's, uh... Level 7, yeah, let's at least level 8 Mudkip, I'd say. Zigzagoon. Come on. Alright, uh, level 8 you. Alright. Let's go see May. Let's see. Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, hi! Ah, I see. You got a, po you got a Pokemon from my daddy's gear. Alright, well, we're already out here. Yada, yada, yada. Let's battle. Sixty nine XP. Uh, okay, uh, goodbye. Well, we're we're running back to the lab, so over here, let's hurry home. Okay. Oh, hi! I heard you beat me on your first try. That's excellent. He's been having more research for a long time. Already has history as a trainer. I ordered this for more research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Thank you! And I got balls. I got Pokeballs. Wait! Here! Here, I have special shoes for you! You need these special shoes to be able to run! But don't hurt too much! I don't want you to get hurt, honey! <laughs> I... I don't even know. You. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were my own... They were only my own footprints. Sag! Sag times. You! I'm gonna catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. All right, good to know. Might as well just tackle. Yeah. Bye, Cal. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, where are you doing? I'm not very tall, so I sink right into the tall grass. It goes up my nose and makes me sneeze. Marple. We're both beginners! How great is that? Oh, wait. <laughs> I tried to use the ground type move. Whoops. Berries! 
Orange berries, yes. And pecker berries. I'll find back. Uh, no, that just goes that way. This is another trainer. Help me further my career. I don't want to. I ended up furthering your career. Yes, yes you did. I restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. You may think that this is the first gem, but no, this is the first gem that we can enter, but not the first one to fight. Hey, Dad! Well, if it isn't Rebel RX, so you're all finished moving in. Like, well, if it isn't my son, but no, like, well, if it isn't, <laughs> I'm surprised you managed to get here by yourself. Yes, I did. Oh, I see you with your Pokemon. Son, you trying to become a trainer like me? Yes, Dad. Yes, I am. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. You're Wally, right? I'm gonna stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I want to take a Pokemon along. I never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. I see. Ah, right, you heard that. Go with the kid. Make sure he catches a Pokemon safely. Yeah, I'll give you mine. A Zigzagoon. Oh, well, thank you! Would you really come with me? And there's it. It gives us the little tutorial. For, uh... Bleh. This is basically our tutorial for how to catch a Pokemon. Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Against the rocks. <clears throat> Go zigzagoon! I have a Lego shelter staring at me. <laughs> yeah. See, you're doing it right, Wally. You gotta get the Pokemon weak. What if I name myself Wally? <laughs> so a ball now, right? Uh, I'll do my best. Wally, use Pokeball! <clears throat> a one, a two, and a three, Crunch! He has called himself a Ralt. Good job, Wally. I did it. It's, it's my Pokemon. Thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Yes, yes, he did. Here's the Pokemon back. Thanks for coming along with me. You two are, what, are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, oh no. My mom is waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye bye. Now, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rusparo City beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Rebel RX. That's only after you become stronger. Mm -hmm. Aren't you going to the Pokemon gym in Rustboro City? There's no challenge for me to battle a Greenhorn trainer. I want you to challenge me when you become a lot stronger. I'll battle you when you can show me four gym badges, okay? Alright, that folks, our dad wants us to battle them when we get. When we get four. Four gym badges. Excuse me, let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm only gonna land a search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Oh, uh, you just watch, good sir. You just watch. Anyways, guys, this is going to be it for the start of Pokemon Emerald. In the next one, we're going to carry onwards to the first gym. 
and maybe, just maybe, go even further beyond! Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, Rebel RX, offline. <laughs>